Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause the video. I've seen these things before, but what are they? Well, these are end screen cards that up until now have only been available to big YouTube channels. But the good news is this feature has now been rolled out to everyone. So here's a quick guide on how to create YouTube end screens. End screen cards are essentially links that you can add to the end of your YouTube videos to keep the audience engaged. Whether it's to direct them to another video or subscribe to your channel, the longer the viewer stays on YouTube, the longer their session time is, which benefits your channel. In addition to this, end screens work on mobile devices, whereas annotations do not. To set up an end screen on a video, go to the YouTube Video Manager page, click on the arrow button next to Edit and select End Screen and Annotations. End screen cards can appear up to 20 seconds before the end of a video and the video must be at least 40 seconds long. The blue canvas is the space you have to work with. It doesn't overlay the play controls at the bottom or the top of the screen where normal cards may appear. To add a card, click Add Element and choose from Videos, Subscribe, Channel or Link. Let's try subscribe first and see what happens. This puts the channel logo within the blue canvas where you can click to drag it into position. Notice that the logo will snap to the grid which can help you line up the card with other cards. You can turn this off though by clicking on the view button to change the settings there. When you place the subscribe button make sure you leave some space to the right. We'll show you why later. Now a card has been added you will see it in the timeline at the bottom. You can move the sliders here for each card to increase or decrease the length of time it is displayed. Now let's move on to another card. This time we'll add a video and when you select this option you'll be given three choices. Most recent and best for viewer will change what's shown over time while manually choosing a video allows you to direct the audience to a specific video which could be related material or the next in the series. We'll choose a playlist this time and once selected it will place the card on your blue canvas. As with the subscribe card you can move it around the screen and you can also resize it a little bit to make it bigger or smaller. You can fit up to four of these video cards on screen if you wish. Now after adding another video card I finished my end screen but let's be honest this looks a little scruffy and the cards are just blocking my video content. So this is where you need to be a bit savvy with your video editing. In this example, the last 20 seconds of a video have been edited to incorporate the end screen. The video has been shrunk into the corner and text has been added to promote the cards. Now, you can do this any way you want, but if you decide to use end cards, consider their placement when you're putting together the very last section of your video. In this example, we just need to match up the end screen cards with the video and that's done with the sliders in the timeline at the bottom. So if we move them all to the right, that should be perfect. The video cards also need to be repositioned too, so let's do that now before we preview our end screen. By clicking the preview toggle in the top left, you can watch your video to see how your end cards work with your video. And there we are, a seamless transition. Now let's go back to the channel logo. If you mouse over it, the channel name and a subscribe button will appear to the right, so that's why it's important to leave some space there. So it's over to you folks, get creating some end cards to encourage new subscriptions and direct people to your other content. If you do decide to use end cards on a regular basis, YouTube offers some helpful tools that include pre-made templates. But if you want to create your own end screens, you can do that and then use the import from video option to copy your end screen from one video to another. One thing YouTube doesn't do, however, is offer templates for regular cards and annotations. Fortunately, vidIQ does and you can use our template feature to load cards directly from the cards editing screen. Alternatively, you can use the vidIQ tool on the video manager page to copy cards and annotations from one video to another. This is all part of a free service we offer at vidIQ, so head on over to the website, sign up and start YouTubing the smart way.